Future Motion, the One Wolf company, just released their brand new board, the One Wolf Pint. Uh, let's talk about that. All right, so the big question is, should beginners, for people who have never used a one wheel before, never, you know, never tried a one wheel before, they're trying to get into the one wheel game, should they buy the one wheel pint? Is this the board for them? So just like many things in life, the answer to this question is, well, maybe. So in order to answer this, I'm gonna categorize into two categories of who would be the perfect candidate to buy uh, the one wheel pint versus um, who probably should have bought the one wheel pint and should probably just go with the one wheel XR. So on the first category, I think the one wheel pint is going to be great for people who are in college, who want to ride around the campus to getting from A to B, really short distance. I think that's going to work well. Um, anybody who wants to use this as a dolly, as a film tool, you know, I do this all the time. I personally love using the one wheel for filming. I think this is going to be a great too. Um, recreational, but honestly, if you're going to start riding this for, you know, fun purposes only, you're really going to start wanting to ride this everywhere. So, you know, take that with in consideration. Trust me on this. You're going to start to want to ride this everywhere. For kids and younger riders, uh, because of the form factor, I think this is going to be a great thing. And also probably even for maybe short commutes. Um, like I would say structured short commutes. So if you know that your ride is going to be two to three miles and that you're not gonna deviate from that route of two to three miles, then I think this should work perfectly fine. But on the second hand, uh, for anybody who wants to use a one wheel for practical use scenario, um, so let's say you want to commute with this, a daily rider, right, a daily driver, and just an all rounder, and you want to have fun with it, but also commute with it, um, I think the range is going to be very much lacking. Just like I said in the last video, I think in this case, it'll be better off if you can save up for an XR. And you always do have an option if you cannot afford, absolutely cannot afford an XR to buy a one wheel XR used. Do take into consideration, I know that buying a used one wheel um, has a risk factor with it. You can end up with the lemon, um, but at the same time, I bought my one wheel plus used and I'm, I'm having a great time with it. Um, so once again, I know it's a bit of a lottery, but we're talking budget options here. So that would be my suggestion. If you are thinking about any practical case uh, use scenario, I would say go ahead and save up for the OneWell XR. And I also do want to mention air travel too. Um, I know in the last video I did mention that if you want to air travel, uh, One Wheel Plus is the way to go. Uh, but now with the One Wheel Pint out, um, I don't know if there is any official word out yet from Future Motion uh, to say if it is TSA compliant um, under the regulations of TSA so you can fly with it. Um, my guess uh, from looking at the specifications would be that it will be compliant. Uh, don't take my word for it, but I think it will be. Uh, we're gonna have to wait and see if you know one will um, for future motion and releases any official word on if it is compliant with air travel now that said i think if it is compliant with air travel it's going to be a great board especially because the footprint is a lot smaller than the one wheel plus um, so for travel i think it's going to be great but then once again my concern is range if you're going to use this uh, to tour around cities and just to explore i think you're going to find yourself lacking a bit of range in the end um, so please do take that into consideration although i know that you cannot ship an xr internationally um, the way that you can just travel with it you can take it on a plane that's not possible um, so I guess the best case scenario maybe would be the one wheel pint because on paper it does have a little bit better range than the one wheel plus um, like a mile or two uh, but that's it that is on paper we will have to see um, on practice on the road um, to see if it actually does hold up to their claims of their range that it is specified for. Now, I do wanna address one of the real reasons that I really am um, stressing so much to save up for an XR is that I just don't want new riders to be in a situation where they get a one more pint or maybe a plus and they find themselves in position to where they're lacking a bit of range and it's, you know, that experience has left them for wanting for more. And um, yeah, it's just not getting the job done. And it's not always an option to stop and charge all the time. Um, so I think you're going to get the most satisfaction and practical use with an XR um, just due to the range of it. And the range is, is immaculate. It, is, it makes a huge difference. So that is my official opinion on it um, to recommend to friends. That would be my say is to save up for an XR or get a used XR. That would be my opinion. Now, just to wrap up this video, I think that this One Wheel Pint um, is a very exciting news. I think it's a very exciting time for One Wheel and for future motion. 
Jesse Driftwood just released a new video for the release of the one more pint. Um, I will go ahead and put a link down in the description below and also put up a card right there. Um, so you can go ahead and click that and watch it. Um, but you know, in his video, he did mention that the one more pint is kind of like the Tesla model three of one wheel. Uh, which I think was a very profound and interesting comment that he made because I'm noticing a lot of similarities between the business model between Tesla and Future Motion and what they're doing. You know, Tesla, when they released the Model S, um, it was marketed towards the high-end consumers. Um, it was a very niche product and it was very new. And so for the early adopters who had the money to splurge, um, who, were, who was willing to take the risk on it, they took the risk on it, but they built a solid product and what that did for them was to build a brand for them. And now that Tesla has their brand, they now released the Model 3 that is more targeted towards the average consumers. And so I think that was a great strategy. At the same time, you can really see with One Wheel, they were building a niche product and it was a bit of a high-end market product, a bit expensive, but they built a solid product. Now that all the YouTubers have One Wheels and they're vlogging with it um, and whatnot, you know, the, the name is out there, the brand is out there. So now they released the and I think it's going to really drive the sales for them and you know that's exciting guys like I want future motion I want one wheel to make money um, so that they can make more new innovations and develop a new one wheel um, and make awesome products maybe like a you know one wheel XR mark 2 or whatever the next generation of one wheel will be you know I think the one wheel pint is really going to drive them um, to that goal um, so I am really excited for one wheel and for future motion so thanks for tuning in guys I just wanted to make this quick video um, in case someone was really wanting to pre-order the pint and just wasn't sure if it was right for them um, if I can help in any way shape or form um, you know hopefully this video helps for you uh, leave in the comments below if you have any questions I would love to answer them um, I will reply to them so yeah just let me know just to give you a heads up I am going out to Chicago um, what's tomorrow right today's yeah yeah tomorrow for a YouTube meetup, which I am really, really excited about. We'll be doing some collaborations. Those videos will be coming up soon. So do subscribe for that. So this me talking head type video, I do plan on making more of these. I think it's going to be great for any topics like this. Um, so I'm going to name it. Um, let's talk about that. So thanks for tuning in for the very first episode of Let's Talk About That, where we talk about various one wheel film, photography, and other shower thought topics. I hope you guys have a fantastic day today. This is Sardic Dan, and uh, um, I, was, I was gonna turn off the light switch to end this video. Uh, found the plug, yeah. <laughs>